All right, here we go, it's Marty here, and welcome back to Grifflands. We've got a couple options here. We can uh, continue working for Nadan, which I think is probably going to push through into the end of day three. We can go to the roadside market to level up, or we can take an event first. And I think I'm going to go and talk to Lassaquo and up my resolve for this final bit of the, uh, the quest here. I believe she also likes us, or he also likes us, yeah. She also likes us. Which means that... I'll get a bonus for doing this for off her. Yeah, gain confidence, 5 max health, awesome. That plays off actually one of the characters that loses us health for hating us. So I think that was a nice little thing. And then we'll check out the market because we just got made money, like actual bank, on that last uh, quest. Uh, let's talk to him about buying some cards. Press one random hostile card to put in your hand across zero until played. Uh, buy that because that's sick. And uh, I'm loving our hostile our negotiation deck for the minute. Let's talk to these. Gain two resolve whenever an opponent's argument is destroyed by a card. It's actually pretty sick. Which one's resolve? Which one's resolve? Uh, no, resolve is not dominance. Okay, so we don't need that. Let's actually try and improve our combat deck because that's our weakest part here. She still doesn't like me, which is a shame. <laughs> Vicious. For the rest of the turn, gain counter equal to damage dealt. It's actually really good. It's a lot of damage output, but what we need, I think, is some more block. Um, we don't have a lot of block. Draw a card, destroy piercing. That's pretty strong. Gain two com in defense per combo. That's again good. Ah, this is a cool card though, so I'm gonna buy viciousness. Probably gonna regret it, but we've gone for it here, you know. Gotta go big or go home. That's how the world works. Gotta go for it. Fish looks worried. But you'd be worried too if your bar was smoking. <laughs> Alright, fish. We have a problem. Some of the supplies I need to finish up this are contraband apparently. Oh, I assume she's like repairing the bar after what happened before. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh yeah, God, there's an assassin. Totally forgot. Oh, is my camera on focal? I feel like it unfocuses a little bit sometimes. I just check over to the left. I'm like, ah. Oh. I head out to the dock then. Feel free to take a bouncer with you. Take him with you, though. Well, he, he he should like me, right? Because we, uh, yeah, Grant's bargaining. Ten show discount from Shopee. He was cool. Yeah. You're like your employee here, aren't you? Maybe we can't check. Make it worth while and we can talk. Probably can convince him to do this, can't I? Probably isn't too hard because we're super strong. Yeah, let's go for it. Man, everyone's listening to that guy. Thanks for vouching for me. Okay, we got an overbear. We can hit draw right off the bat. <sighs> let's go for promoted thinking first. We'll throw up the bait. I like the bait. And then do you know what, actually? Let's leave with this. See how that hits on there. Okay, that's good. Then we hit with this. Pops them both off. It doesn't draw a card yet because I don't have that other card in play. That's my bad. Kind of forgot about that a little bit. Um. And then let's gain three composure, I guess, and keep our bait alive. Cool. All right. You know, stuff happening. We're doing all right. Okay. Right. Here we go. This is the big turn. So we want to get this in play straight up. We want to get know-it-all in play because it keeps us rolling forward. 
and we probably just play Root Root Over Bear now. Uh, instead of trying to be too smart about anything else. Game one, extra card, second turn, it's pretty good. Yeah, Root Root Over Bear is just strong here. Does a bunch of damage and clears us out. Okay. So we're still looking strong. Only taking two. Not bad. Decent. Decent. Um, okay. This is tougher. Spend one chosen card. Probably want to get dominance going, I think, when we can. We can take this out. Step three vulnerability. Okay, cool. All right, I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm pretty okay with that turn. It's sort of stalemated, but like I think we're we're picking up the momentum, and he's not in that regard. You know, which is nice. Um, and yeah, this is where we start to pop off a little bit. Yeah, this is where we really start to pop off a little bit. Oh, must target snare. Must target this first. I wonder if this doesn't hit him because it'll focus on that then. In which case, let's take it out with this. Hit double damage. And kill him. Awesome. Alright, strong. Still looking really good there. And no all gains four smarts. Or one I think the one vulnerability is probably a bit better. Like the three turns of mana is is good enough for me. I mean, I think we can take another duplicity here. You know, actually, I think that's fair. <sighs> yeah, I think that's fair because then we could even you know duplicity, duplicity, and then win. I suppose. <laughs> cool. Two resolve damage to uh, get him as a bonus on this is probably worth it. I would say. Stark when you arrive. The docks are closed, but uncharacteristically busy. The large cargo ship flying. Rolatch's flags is just visible in the distance. The guards on duty approach you. He's there. I don't know. I, I, sometimes I read it out. Sometimes I don't. Don't question me. Docks closed, Grifter, especially to you. Savage. Factionless settler. Oh, right. Huh. Fair enough. Uh, took your way through. Attack the guards. Absolutely not. We are not. I like how money is another option. I like how the game is sort of every now and again implying that like if you are rich enough <laughs> doesn't matter if you're a really smooth talker or really strong you can just talk your way through i like that that's cool yeah let's get through this kid fucking umri man what a dick should have gone to that assassin and gotten to sort him out um what's this yeah okay cool okay so we start with we start with this and then we do this and then we play this this and then we play this this not bad not bad as far as i'm concerned and then uh, where we going from here? Okay, we can start with primitive thinking here. Although playing it twice isn't too bad. Probably playing this twice is better though, actually. Yeah, okay. So we'll throw some bait up. Hit duplicity. Caprice twice. Draw one card, evoke. Huh. Uh, add. Three heated. Heated at the end of your own turn, deal resolve and resolve damage to a random argument and increase count. Cool. Three 
so that again is expand. And this is going to cost zero, so that's great, actually. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, then we just remove tank closure. In fact, we should probably... Yeah, take off one of those. Cool. And then, uh, do we have to influence now? Probably just go for this over that, I'd say. The attempt to get this gone. Okay, well, not bad. That's going to kill him anyway. Yeah, nice. All right, well, dude, we're rolling here, boys. We're Gucci. Nah, he ain't going to get there. He ain't even going to come close, I tell you now. Flipping X, do we have any, like, cards that deal damage? Which gained a whole bunch of actions, though. Oh. This does damage, so I'm gonna, gonna go with this to start. Just stack blocks for years, I guess, and then end our turn. And then watch our little minions fire at him. Yeah, there we go. Easy, dude. Not bad. Let me get a couple of upgrades here. Four composure over three composure. Apply four composure to all your arguments. Expend 100%. 100% better. 100% better. Like, it's definitely better, right? I'm not wrong. Because we've got so many cards, we, it's rare that we get through them all that often. Like, we're not going to miss having one. So, insert inspiration or attitude into your hand. What's this? Uh, mean. Just deal four. Gain two dominance. Let's just go with this. I prefer that. Obviously, we're playing a red deck here anyway, so it's pretty good. Yeah, I, I'm really pleased with our negotiation deck. I'm, I'm, I like it a lot. Plus one less for each influence we have, lose two influence as a bunch of damage. It's a really strong card if you have influence. Don't I feel bad doing that. Feels gross. Wasn't me here that you went, yeah, that's fine, dude. I'm gonna find the ship now. I'll pick a ship. Make your way to the deck of the Rolex ship. Rolex ship. I don't know how you say that. Ooh, he's having a heated argument with me. Ooh. Think of how much money you flash around the ship is from the Rolash has to stay in quarantine. <laughs> Murder Bay, a small patch of coast on the Royal Road. Cool. Ooh. Cut a side deal with Kadwa. How does Kadwa feel about us? They feel completely middling about us. Didn't she... Yeah, wasn't she the one who went on that... Um, didn't we, like, pull her along on that quest where we, like, had to go steal the thing? Um, so we can convince her to get the package, offer to attack, convince, to end the quarantine. Have the package and make a break for it. This is going to be tough. But surely that just like... Wins it for us? It's a big risk, but I'm going to take it. Right, we can do this. Reduce the river. Okay, all right. We can do this. We just need to uh, focus. Okay, this is a good start. So, what we actually do here is not what we think we would normally do. Maybe we, do we want two cards every time we play a red? Or do we want improvise one random card twice? It's really tough. I think we play this, then we play this, 
Let me play this. Yeah, I ain't got Charlie Guy. Let me hope for a double damage card hit here. Okay, well, doing double damage on that isn't the end of the world, I guess. Falls through to there, heals us up. Okay. Not the greatest start, actually. Could have gone better. Probably didn't play that as well as I should have. Probably should have gone for the stacks for all. I don't know, it's tough. Three block and everything's nice here. Uh, vulnerability's not nice, but the smarts is really nice to have in play. Tough turn. We want influence. Let's hope we knock one of these out. We do. Beautiful. Uh, so let's put the vulnerability in play, but also gain three block on everything. Which is great. And then. No, we don't want that, so block that, even though it'd be nice to have that in play. We're drawing enough anyway with our um, dominance plays, or with our argument plays, argument plays isn't it? Or hostility plays, sorry, that's the word, that's the name of it. Okay. Okay, so start with stealing his composure. Then we go for the double over bear play. Then we are blocking for everything that we need to block. So we don't need to like block anything else. Then we go for this. And we don't need mean. We want dominance. Dominance plays better for us. Uh, and then probably into a straight up visionary threat over over there hope for the higher rolls rolls beautifully not bad tidy okay all right we're doing well we're doing well it's still a tough fight because she has so much health and obviously we'll scale up with that but okay beautiful we've got the draw in play now that's great gaining one dominance is nice here we'd like that let's play evil eye Okay. Let's get the smarts in play. Yeah, that's more smarts. Um, bomb's going to go off unless we double block it. Yeah. Or we hope for a random roll there that's good. This is tough. I think we just... I think we just go for the block, personally. I think we deal enough damage, you know, on our own. We're not so fast. Block is nice to have, keeping this. What's that like? How much damage does this do to us? Six damage. It's pretty It's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. Okay. We've got no discard power, which is a little bit frustrating there. Drop the Evi. Big damage to this. Finish this off. And I can get eight composure on this. Yep. Oh, where well that clears our influence. Well, it kind of evens out anyway, whatever. Yeah, none of these really matter anyway, so let's just evil out and we'll do this. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, we need some attack. We need to pick up the like pace for damage on her. Start hitting her. But she, ne I need her to have more arguments for that, so I can like stack attacks back down onto it. You know. Steel target's composure. Gain the dominance. Start hitting her and keeping dominance up. Over there. Okay. Alright. Pace has picked up a bit, but she's keeping up with us. Like, this is tough. Ooh. 
still targets composure. Ooh. I don't want her to kill that. That would be really unfortunate, actually. I can block it out, though. Yeah, cool. Alright, nice. Okay, okay. Not bad. Not bad. Definitely still in this. Like, okay, man, she's hitting really hard here. Like, we need to end this soon, I think. In fact, almost now, if possible. Uh, which is possible, because we take mean, pop evil eye, and crack him. Good stuff. Upgrade a card. Upgrade Bulldoze. Game 1, Dominance. Game 4, Composure. I like the Dominance. I like the Dominance. Store 5 Resolve. Game 5, Composure. Destroy. Yeah, why not? I don't mind that. It's kind of a bit of a waste, but I don't mind it. Yeah, and I like the draw card there, that's better. Improvise a card from your discards. Gain one action from three cards in your discard. I don't think I want any of those, because I've already got one. Thanks for that, Grifter. Starting to action with Jamar again. We almost make it to the gangplank when you hear rumbling in the low decks. A great shot is called play out of the hold. Oh man, that's exciting. But guess what? Gonna have to wait till next time to see it. Thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode of Griffin Rats.